What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to share with you a critical mistake new gardeners often make when fertilizing their garden. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, cucumbers, squash, watermelons. These are all fruits, even though we often refer to them as vegetables. They need to be treated very differently than most things that we grow for the vegetation. One of the most popular soluble fertilizers out there is miracle Grow All-Purpose. If you're watching this video, you have seen this before, you may be using it right now. And the big problem with this product is, although it does work as a fertilizer, the marketing is terrible. It says all-purpose, but it is anything but. The guaranteed analysis of miracle Grow All-Purpose Water Soluble Fertilizer is 24% nitrogen, 8% phosphorus, and 16% potassium. It is a very high nitrogen fertilizer, and that is a problem if you're growing fruiting vegetables. Nitrogen is responsible for the leafy green growth of a plant. Phosphorus is responsible for root growth, flower, and fruit growth. And potassium is responsible for cellular division and the overall metabolic health of the plant. And the ratio that we give these macronutrients to our plants has different effects on how they grow. So when growing something like a head of lettuce where you want to eat the leaves and the bigger the leaves the better, giving them a high nitrogen fertilizer makes sense since you're actually eating the vegetation of the plant. This is a totally different story if you're trying to grow something like a pepper plant where we want to eat the fruits, not the vegetation. It is phosphorus that is largely responsible for the flowering and fruiting cycle of the plant. So if we give our plants that we depend on the fruiting cycle a high nitrogen fertilizer, you're actually telling the plants to not put so much energy into the flower and fruiting cycle and to grow more vegetative growth. So what you'll wind up with is a big, healthy, dark green, tall looking plant that has huge foliage but very few fruits. So while it's okay to give your fruiting vegetables a high nitrogen fertilizer immediately at transplant, since at transplant we generally want our plants to put on some vegetative growth and get taller, after that it is a really good idea to start switching to a balanced fertilizer that does not prefer nitrogen like this all-purpose Jack's 20-20-20. The individual one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio fertilizers are very good at generating fruit and striking a balance between leafy green growth while not interrupting the fruiting cycle. Another good alternative to the Jacks 20-20-20 is regular old miracle Grow tomato 18-18-21, which is a fairly balanced fertilizer and produces good flowering and fruiting results for most fruiting vegetables. I've also seen fantastic results from fertilizers that have less nitrogen and more phosphorus, such as as this Jack's 103020 Blossom Booster and also the Miracle Grow Flower Food. 15, 30, 15. The reduced nitrogen and increased phosphorus seems to really generate more blooms, especially when they're placed around the blooming cycle, when the plants really start to take off and produce their first flower clusters. And of course, for the strictly organic gardeners amongst us, I have had fantastic results using a balanced all-purpose fertilizer, somewhere around a 555 granulated organic, and then supplementing it with an organic bone meal fertilizer, which is predominantly phosphorus and calcium. When you mix the high phosphorus bone meal with the organic all-purpose granulated fertilizers once about every two weeks, I find that it generates enormous amount of blooms and thanks to all the phosphorus and calcium in the bone meal, you build strong roots as well. For your flowering and fruiting vegetables, do not give them a high nitrogen fertilizer past that first fertilizing or two, especially if you start to see any evidence of flowers forming. High nitrogen fertilizers can harm the overall fruit production so keep that in mind. You don't necessarily have to practice nitrogen restriction, but you should at least scale back to a ratio of one to one to one where nitrogen is never the dominant macronutrient. And also beware of any fertilizer labeled all-purpose. In this case, with the miracle Grow all-purpose fertilizer, all-purpose actually means high nitrogen, and that could have bad effects on your flowering and fruiting plants. And that's today's Two Minute Garden Tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.